As we prepare for Matan Torah, no better way to prepare for Matan Torah than by studying Torah, and no better way to study Torah than by studying the Daf Yomi. So we're going to start on the bottom of Chasam Abayz, four lines from the bottom. The Gemara has been discussing the idea that just like a woman who gets divorced, she gets a get, then her agent who brings the get has to say, the funny nechtam, funny nechtam was signed and written before me in order to ensure that the get was written properly. So too, what's called a get shichur, a document of emancipation, freeing a slave, he says, the agent says, or the agent or the slave himself would bring it. And that is necessary as well. And it's also a leniency that that proves that the document is certified. Otherwise, you need two witnesses to certify the document. So the Lord discusses a case, the Lord discusses a case where the agent I'm going to discuss the case where the agent, where the slave brings it, but the document is, but his, his words are split. And he says, I am giving the, you this, you're free, being freed, but at the same time, he says, you're getting all my possession. So the, he can't certify, the, the slave can't certify the, doc, the possessions. So the leniency doesn't, doesn't work for that. So Abai says, we look at the statements as a whole. And so therefore, since we don't believe him to certify the possessions, we also don't believe him to free himself. Whereas Rabbi says, no, Paul Gino and Deborah, we, we believe him as it relates to free himself, but not as it relates to certifying the possessions. So the Gemara says on the bottom of Chesam and Beis, four lines from the bottom, Amoy Ravada Barmas, no Rabba Kiman. Like whom is Rabba saying that we split the words? It must be Rabbi Shimon. It must be like Rabbi Shimon who says, that we split the words of the person in half. And we're able to believe part of a statement, but not the whole statement. The Tanan, as we learned in the Mishnah, and the Mishnah tells us in Peah, let's say somebody says, I'm giving all my possessions to my slave, and then the slave is going to go free because he says, I'm writing all my possessions to my slave, and that includes the slave, so the slave goes free. But she or Karka calls you, but let's say he says, I'm leaving over one thing. He doesn't say what he's leaving over. Then Lo Ben Khorn. Then he doesn't go free at that point. Then he's not going to go free. So, so in that con and the reason why he doesn't go free is because he left something over. So we say it's an indication he didn't intend to free the slave. Whereas Rabbi Shimon says, Well, oh, I'm on top of so even if he left something over, we could still say it's free. And there's an indication that he does say Pogin and Debura because we're saying that he's we believe him that to, with respect to the slave that he's being free. And the piece he left over, that's that's something else, separate. Unless Rabbi Shimon says, unless unless he says all my possessions are given to such and such a slave, the exception of one ten thousandth of them. So here in this context where he says one ten thousandth of them, then he doesn't go free. What's the reasoning why he wouldn't go free there? Either because there he's clearly intending to degrade the slave, so the slave doesn't go free, or else we say because he's retaining part of the slave because he's saying I'm, I'm keeping one ten thousandth of each of the possessions. But anyway, we see from here that Rabbi Shimon says, Pogin Debura, because in the first case, he says, we would believe the, the slave would go free, except he wouldn't get that piece of karaka, that piece of whatever object he left over. Even though Rabbi Yossi praised Rabbi Shimon, the law is going to be like Rabbi Meir, who's a Tanakama, who says, we don't say Pogin and Debura in this case, presumably. So why is Rava ruling like Rabbi Shimon who says we say people Pagin and Deborah? The Tanya, because we learned Kishin and Amrut Varm of Neighbor Biosi. When these words were said in front of Rabbi Yosi, Karawab Amikraze, then he cited this verse, Sifasayim Yishak, Mishiv Dvarm Nechokhan. So when they cited these words, so the law is like Rabbi Meir, because when we cited these words, 
when we, when, when we said these words of Rabbi Shimon in front of Rabbi Osi, he praised him because he said, whoever says the, these true words, it's appropriate to kiss him. That's the way, that's the way Rashi explains it in the word in Dibra Masko, Sifasayim Ra'oi Hu and Ashik. It's appropriate to kiss him. So we see from here, even though he praises Rabbi Shimon, the laws like Rabbi Meir, who says we don't say Pagin and Dibur in this case. And so so why is why is Rava passing like Rabbi Shimon? So the Gemara says, first of all, the Gemara says, does Rabbi Nachman really say this? Well, me Amar Rabbi Nachman. So the, the, Gemara is, the Gemara is proving, the Gemara said that Rabbi Nachman says that the law is not like Rabbi Shimon, but does Rabbi Nachman really say the law is not like Rabbi Shimon, i.e. that we, Rabbi Shimon said we say Pogin and Deborah, is Rabbi Nachman really saying that we don't say Pogin and Deborah? What's the, what's the case of a Shimon? That's the case of a person who is sick, and since we're concerned he's going to die, we will give him certain leniencies that he can make a gift and then take it back. So he says, I'm giving all my assets to my slave, the Ahmad, and then he got and then he became healed. He's allowed because he's a Shrimara, the, the deal is off once he gets better. So he's allowed to take all his assets back, but he's not allowed to take his slave back. Why can he take his assets back? Choser ben Achasim, he could take his assets back because Matanas Shlivmerah, because it's the gift of a Shlivmerah. So he gets, when he recovers from his illness, he gets to take back his assets. Choser ben Eved, and he doesn't get back, take back his slave, Shara Yatzel of Shem ben Choren, because he's a free person. So we see from here, Herb Nachman says, in the case of the Shlivmerah, who gives a gift to a slave, we do say Pogin in Dibur. So why does he say, that we don't rule like Rabbi Shimon when we, we know that Rabbi, that Rabbi Nachman does rule like Pagin and Deborah. And so Rava is able to follow Rabbi Nachman saying Pagin and Deborah. Or, but, but why does Rabbi Nachman say that in this case, the law is not like Rabbi Shimon in the case of the slave? In the case of the slave who, who we left over a piece of real estate, he says, you're free except for this one piece of real estate I'm keeping back, all my nechazim to the slave. So the Gemara says, well, that case of the slave where, where Rabbi Shimon says, not like Rabbi Meir, that case of the slave is different because that's not sufficient. That's not sufficient. Uh, the reason why we don't rule like Rabbi Shimon in that case is because that's not sufficient emancipation. In order for it to be a real emancipation, there needs to be a real severing. Just like we say by a, by a divorce in general, it needs to be a total separation. So too, by the emancipation of a slave, it says, I'm giving all my possessions to the slave except for one piece of real estate, uh, that, that is not going to be a sufficient cruise uh, gito. It's not a sufficient separation. And so therefore, that's the reason why we don't pass in like Rabbi Shimon in that case. But in general, Rabbi Nachman does say, Palkino and Debura. And so to Rabbi Shimon would say, Palkino and Debura in general. And therefore, Rabbi has no problem going like Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi is not in conflict with Rabbi Shimon. So then the Gemara, the Mishra had said, if after he brings the witnesses, the, if after he brings the get, the witnesses challenge it, then we can certify the signatures. Error comma, how many people do we need to signify? How many people are challenging it? If you say one person challenges a document, you can't just challenge a document with one person, you need two. Well, if you say two people are challenging it, well, then why do we believe the get? Trey betrayed in who? It's two against two. Why are, we, why are we believing? Why are we believing the the ones on this the signatories believe the people who challenge it, and then the divorce shouldn't be good. Suffolk get you wouldn't allow her to remarry. Ella the the husband is the one who challenges it, and since the husband is the one who's challenging it, then we give special credence to the husband, even though he's just a single person, because he is the one who would have given the get. So therefore, give him special credence to challenge it. Says the Mishnah, maybe get me Medina Sayam. Let's say a person brings a get from overseas. And he can't say, he's unable to say, he's unable to say that. If there are witnesses there uh, for the document, you could certify the signatures. 
This is whether it's what we called at the beginning a get for a divorce or a get shech or emancipation document of the slaves. They both have the same law, maybe, that if you bring it, the get to Eretz Yisrael or from Eretz Yisrael to Babel, you say, or from Eretz Yisrael to Medina Sayyam, you say, they're the same law with respect to that. And this is one of the areas that, that where the get of the women and the shter shechor of the slaves are going to be the same. What does it mean, says the Gemara, when it says the witness is unable to say the funny nothing, funny nothing? What does it mean he's unable to say it? If you want to say it's because. He is a cheresh. If you say he's a deaf mute, well, it can't because cheresh bari suya gitu. How could he have brought to get in the first place? Didn't we learn in the Mishnah, which we're going to, we, we learned on daf, hey, Amid Aleph. What, 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 don't, don't we learn in the Mishnah? The Mishnah says everyone can bring a get, puts me cheresh to a coven, except for a deaf mute. And, uh, and uh, insane or a minor. So Amar Yosef, Alpha Maya Skin, and Goshen Nasnu Al Kashupi Keach. Vuo Hispi, Gomar, Funny Nachta, Funny Nachta, Machin Astarish. He gave her the get when he was of sound mind. He gave her the get when he was of sound mind. And then before he was able to say that phrase, the Funny Nachta, Funny Nachta, he quickly became a deaf mute. He, I don't know, he got something happened. He could have had a stroke or something. I don't know. But he gave her the get, and then he was unable to say funny enough, well, funny enough. So therefore, you need to certify the signatures under those circumstances. So they're, they're both, for both of them, you have to say funny enough, well, funny enough. So the Gemara now says, the Bryce says, There are three ways in which there are three ways in which a person can set, uh, there are three ways in which the Gitei Nashim and the Shechur Avadim, the Get Shechur, are the same. A Get and a Get Shechur are the same in three ways. Shavu and Mochel, maybe. They're the same with respect to Moch, maybe you have to say, Bufan, I nothing funny, nothing when you bring in the Get from Medina Sam Territ Israel. Number two, Kol Get Shechur of Eid Kuti, Puzzle, any Get that has on it the witnesses of a Kutian, Kutian is somebody the Gemara is going to discuss that we're not sure of their status as Jews, is disqualified. Any, any document that has a Kuti as a signatory is disqualified. But their signatures are accepted with respect to uh, get of a woman and star shechor. Number three, the Kohashtaros, all the contracts that, all the contracts that are coming out of the arcos, the, the courts of the idolaters, even though their signatures are the signatures of idolaters, they're going to be kosher. We're going to any document that comes out of the arcos of the akum, we're going to say that their signatures are okay, except for the bill of divorce, the Ged Nashem, and the Star Shechor of the Avadim. Shechor Avadim. Kedivar Rabbi Meir Ba'arba. Rabbi Meir says, actually, they're the same, the Gitei Nashem and Star Shechor are the same in four circumstances. What's the fourth? Omer Ten Ged Zel Ishti V'Star Shechor Zel And if somebody, if somebody appoints an agent to bring a get for his wife or a document of emancipation for a slave, Ratzelach Zor B'Shneim, yeah, sorry. Then if he wants to stop it, if he wants to change before the agent gave it, he's able to, to change it. Divrei Rebbe Meir. So Rebbe Meir says that the Shtar Shechor and the Get are the same also in this fourth case. Not only in the case of that they have to say funny nachtam, funny nachtam. Not only in the case that we believe the witnesses of the Kutim. Not only in the case that if they come out of the Yarkos, they're not kosher, but also in the case of the fact that the that the uh, husband or the master can can cancel the shlichus can cancel the shlichus uh, before it was delivered, and the reason why he can cancel the shlichus is because we're saying the shlich does not automatically accept it on his behalf. Ramir is saying that it's not going to be acceptable. It's not a shlichus. It's not a merit to be divorced or to be freed as a slave because 
you have certain financial responsibilities that now accrue to you. And so therefore, Rebbe Meir says that it's a hefzid. And so therefore, and you can't accept uh, something that's, a, that's not to your advantage, the agent can't accept it. And so therefore, and so therefore he can go back. Um, and so, and so, and so, the uh, Rabbanon argued with Mayor. The Rabbanon say that by Shifor, he uh, he can't go back because even though uh, uh, because the Rabbanon are the position that it, that it's a source for the Evan. The Rabbanon agree that it's a demerit for the woman to be divorced. She wouldn't want it, but for the the, the Rabbanon argued with Mayor and say it's source. Yeah, but she she she's going to be a nationalist because she doesn't know that he he changed his mind. Well, no, if, if he, or the Gemara is going to discuss that possibility, that possibility, but the point is that the, that he could cancel the shlichus, that that's the, that's the machokus to her mayor, the rabbanon, whether the mayor says you can always cancel by both an evid and a, an isha, and the rabbanon say you can only cancel it by an isha, but not by an evid. So bishlam rabbanon, so the Gemara says, we understand why the rabbanon say that there's three cases where the evid and the, and the get are the same. What's it coming to exclude? It's coming to exclude the case of Rabbi Meir. Why does Rameir say four cases? What's he coming to exclude? So you say, Gemara, it answers, it's coming to exclude the position of the following b'risa. So if there are witnesses who don't know how to sign, we take a piece of paper and we etch out some like form of their signatures and we fill it in with ink. We fill it in with ink. And I remember showing them, but many of our mamur and begiti nashim. Rabbi Shimon Amul says we can only do that by, by a, a get of a shechur e'avadim, but a star shechur, a shar kol ashtaros. But by a star shechur and all other contracts, and yodim with kroos, if you know how to read it and to sign it, chosmen, then you could sign it. Vimlav ain chosmen. Otherwise, you can't sign it. So we see from here that the, that the that the Tanakama of this position is, is basically saying that all the documents are, that, that, that the Tanakama says of this position that you can, you can fill in for all the documents. Rabbi Shimon Lamurel says you can only do it by the get Nashim. And so since according to the Tanakama, you could do it even by, uh, even by all the documents. And Rabbi Shimon Lamurel argues the Tanavar of our Brisa, which says Rabbi Meir says only four cases, he's teaching us that the halacha is not like that Tana, but it's like Rabbi Shimon Gamil, that with respect to etching the signatures on the document, the Gite Nashim and Shukuri Avadim are different. And only by Gite Nashim do they allow you to, to fill in your signature this way because of it, because of it, uh, we don't want them to be in Aguna, but not by other contracts, including Shtar Shekhar. So the Gemara says, well, what does Rabbi Shimon Gamil say? If he knows how to read and sign it. Kriya man the harsh made that Tanakama didn't mention anything about reading. And where it explains Kisuri Matsura, the text was effective. This is what he's saying. Adam Shehin Yodin Likros, if the witnesses don't know how to read, Karnof Nam, we read the document before them, the Khosman, and then they sign it. And you don't if they don't know how to sign it, Makaran Lam, we do this etching before them. Mar says, So are these the only cases where Shtar Shekhar and Get are the same? Either these three cases of the Rabbanon or these four cases of Rebbe Meir. And these are the only cases where they're the same. The Suleika, is that it? Well, Ika, what about another case? Omar Tanu gets El Ishti. Somebody says, give this get to my wife. Ishtar Shekhar is El Abdi. Give this, give this get Shekhar to my slave. Umeis, and then he dies. Well, Yitnu Misa. You don't give the get after death. Even the Rabbanon who say, and he, Rashi says, and even according to the Rabbanon who says the get Shekhar is a slus, and you can accept it on his behalf. And so they say that works to say you can't be hoser, you can't recant it, but they would still admit that as long as he doesn't actually get the get, he's not freed. And so since the owner died, and he wasn't freed. And so therefore, therefore he's with the heirs at that point, and so he wasn't freed. So don't we have this uh, other case where both the star shepherd and the get, they actually, the owner has to be alive and the husband has to be alive in order to be valid. 
Or another case is if he says, but if he says to new money, upon you may see no alpha mace. In the case of money, if he says give it to such and such a person, he dies, that can take happen after death. So this is uh, another case of where we see that they could have included four cases according to Rabbanan and five according to Rebbe Mayer. So the Gemara says, Kikatani, when the Tana lists those cases, when the Bryce lists those cases, what cases is it listing? It's listing. It's listing Milsa the way Sebastaros. It's listing only those situations which don't appear by other contracts. But Milsa the Isa Bishtaros Lokatani, but something that appears by other contracts, we don't we don't list it. Look at Rashi, Milsa the Isa Bishar Staros. There's something the Tan only lists those things that don't apply to other contracts. It's just unique to the get and the star shekhar. Uh -huh, Milsa and this last one, which you can't give it after death, it does appear by other shtaros. Which other case does it appear? It appears by what's called a shtar matana. If you want to give a gift to somebody, to his agent, to give it to him after death, and then he dies, you can't give it to him after death. That's the case. That's what Rashi says. If you gave a contract that you're going to give a gift to the agent, to give it to him after to give to him, and then he dies. You can't give it after he dies because he has not handed over the land until it came to the other person. And so now, since he since he's dead, it's not in his possession anymore. So that's another case which is equivalent to the get and the star shechor. And so therefore, we, it's not unique to get and star shechor. So we don't list it. The Shalach Rabbi Mishmei the Rabbi Avo Avo Yodin he said and the proof of this because Rabbi sent a message in the name of Rabbi Avo no the Shalach 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 Rabbi Elazar would go on Mishim Rabbeinu that Rabbi Elazar sent a message in the name of our Rabbi which is Rav Shlimara let's say you have a person who's sick Shamar Kisvu to new money upon me write and give this this piece of real estate to such and such a person. Umeis, and then he dies, in Kosvin Venos, and we don't write it and give it. Why? Shemar go gamar lapnosa el bashtar. Let's say he wanted to only give it only with the document. Because we don't we don't allow a star to work after death, because once he died, he lost the ability to, to give it. So so the Gemara says, okay, fine. So that so that's case is not unique to the get and the star shechor. But I'll give you another case which is unique to them. But don't the get and the star shechor? They both require a shema. It has to be done with the right intent. Bishlama Rabba Hainamolchu. Maybe according to Rabba, well, that's what's listed in our Mishnah when it says in the Brayso when it says Molchu. Maybe you have to say nechtan funay nechtan. To prove that it's Lashma, Ella Rava, but according to Rava, who says that it's about Kim Shtaros, why don't you also list the case of Lashma? Besu, Bein Rava, Bein Rava, Ika Mechubar. And I'll give you another case. What about the fact that they both require that the get is not attached to the ground when it's written? It's like Mar says, Kikatani, when the Bryce lists those three cases, Psu the Rabban, and only lists the rabbinic cases. The Araisa, it doesn't list the biblical cases. And so Mechubar and Lashma are biblical cases. What about the case that if we said that if it comes out of the arkos of the idolaters, of the courts of the idolaters, that that is arkos of the comes from the psul de That's a biblical, that's a biblical problem if it comes out of the courts of the idolaters because they are not they, they are coast, they are, the courts of the idolaters, they don't know the laws of Gittin and Kedushin. And it says, for Christus, and we, we, and the Chacham say from here that only somebody who applies to the get can write it. But a, a non Jew who can't, doesn't give a get, he can't write it for Katani, and yet that case is listed. So the Gemara says, Misira. So our Mishnah that says that this get. And the star shukhar is disqualified if it comes out of the Akaros. We're talking about a get that has kosher witnesses that saw the husband give the get to the woman. And so even though it come, came out of the court of the idolaters, it still would have been kosher, biblically speaking. Because Rebbe Lazar says that the only witnesses that really are required 
to divorce are the witnesses who see it handed over. And so therefore, we don't really require the witnesses that are signed on the get. And so therefore, we're talking about a case where a Jewish scribe wrote the get in the non-Jewish courts. And biblically speaking, the get was kosher, even though the non-Jews signed it, because the, the witnesses who saw it being handed over are Eide Misira, are, uh, that Aide, Aide Misira, are Jewish. And the sages disqualify the get rabbinically because they say Rabbi Elazar himself would admit that if it's Mizuyo of Mitocho, that if it's inherently disqualified, that there, if there's a de defect in, in inherently, it's going to be disqualified rabbinically. And even though Rebbe Lezer does not require Eidi Chasimah, if they signed it and they didn't know it and they, and they were disqualified, it's, it's going to be disqualified. And so therefore, this is also a case of a Psul Medirabonon, rabbinic prohibition. says, Omer, Af Elu But don't we say that from the fact that Rabbi Shimon says, in the next Mishnah, Rabbi Shimon says, also, these Gitin who come up in the Arkos are Ksherin, and Amar Rabbi Zera, Yavar Rabbi Shimon, Shikasa, Shrebel Lazar. Rabbi Shimon is following the position of Rebel Lazar, who says, Edim Yisire Karta. We call the Tanakama Savar. Whoa, so we see from here the Tanakama is not following Rebel Lazar's position that Edim Yisire Karta. He's following Rebbe Mayor, who says, Edim Chasime Karta. And so, therefore, the Psul is biblical. And so, therefore, if that's the case, why does the Tana not list this case? So the Gemara says, also, the Tanakama says, like Rabbi Eliezer, that like Rabbi Eliezer, the Edi Mesiri Karta. And what's the reason that the that the Gitin, in this case, why it's rabbinically prohibited, is because he's concerned So we'll start we'll start with this in tomorrow's stuff, and then we'll God willing, God willing, uh, go on. Shkoyach to everybody, and uh, see. Uh,